Good day, my dear student. I am Dr. Rafiu Ibrahim Abiodun, ACA, your financial accounting teacher. I'll be treating the trading account of a sole trader with you today. Trading account is the first step in preparing the income statement. The income statement is the combination of trading account and profit or loss accounts. Trading account. It is an account which consider all the trading activities of a business and helps to ascertain the gross profit or gross loss for a given period. It is important to note that every trading organization is interested in profit maximization. A trading organization deals with buying and selling of finished goods with a view to make profit. How do we ascertain the profit of a trading organization? This is what we want to learn today, learning objective. By the end of the lesson, I will expect you, student, to be able to define trading accounts. You should be able to identify trading account items. You should be able to prepare trading account. And you should be able to determine gross profit or loss. Trading accounts. Trading accounts looks at the difference between the net sales and the cost of goods sold with a view to determine the gross profit or gross loss. It is a revenue account, which follows the principle of double entry system. It has the debit side and the credit side, since it is an account. The left hand side is the debit side, while the right hand side is the credit side. We we'll now look at the format of a typical trading account of a sole trader using the T format. We will draw our T ledger. And as usual, we will write the name of the organization first. In this case, ABC Ventures, trading account for the year ended 31st December 1999. On the left hand side, we have our opening stock. We are going to add purchases to it. We are going to add carriage inwards. We'll get a subtotal. Thereafter, we add wages to it. We'll get another subtotal. We will less return outwards. We will get another subtotal. We will now less goods withdrawn for own use. And we will get another subtotal titled or called cost of goods available for sale. We also less closing stock. And the figure we are going to get is the cost of goods sold. We will now move on to the right hand side. We have our sales. We will less return in words and we'll get our net sales. We now look at the difference between the net sales and cost of goods sold. Where the net sales is greater than the cost of goods sold, we are going to get our gross profit, which is added to cost of goods sold on the left-hand side to get a final total, which must be equal to the total on the right-hand side. But where cost of goods sold is greater than net sales, we are going to have our gross loss, which is added, which is added to net sales to get our final total and must be equal to the total on our left hand side. We will now look at the vertical format of preparing a trading account. As usual, the name of the organization, ABC Ventures, trading account for the year ended 31st December 1999. We'll draw our line, then we'll write our two Naira sign. We have sales. The figure is taken to the second Naira sign at the extreme end. Then we will less return in word on the second Naira sign. We will get our net sales all at the second Naira sign at the extreme end. We now have cost of sales. Under it, we have opening stock. We are going to add purchases. We are going to add carriage in words. We are going to add wages all under the first Naira sign to get a subtotal. We will now less return outwards. We also less goods withdrawn for own use. And we also less closing stock. And the figure we are going to get is our cost of goods sold and is deducted from our net sales to get our gross profit. As stated earlier, if the cost of goods sold is greater than net sales, then we are going to get our gross loss. At this point, let us go for a short break and when we come back, we will continue. My dear student, you are welcome back to the second segment 
of our lesson on trading account of a sole trader. In the first segment, we dealt with the meaning of trading account and its format. In this second segment, we will be looking at basic terminologies associated with trading accounts. Basic terminologies in trading accounts. Opening stock. This is the stock of goods available for sale at the beginning of the year. Purchases. This represents the total of the cash and credit purchases of goods for resale. Sales. This represents the total of the cash and credit sales during the period. Carriage in words. This is the cost of transporting the goods to the business center. It increases the cost of goods purchased. Hence, it is added to purchases and debited to the trading accounts. Goods withdrawn for own use. The goods withdrawn by the owner of the business is deducted from the purchases in the trading account. Return outwards. These are goods returned to the suppliers. It must be deducted from the purchases for the period. Return inwards. These are goods returned to the seller by the customers out of goods previously sold to them. Closing stock. This is the stock of goods at the end of the trading period. Turnover. This is the total net sales during a period of time. This means sales less return inwards. Cost of goods available for sale. This is the amount arrived at after adding the purchases to the opening stock. Cost of goods sold. This is the cost of goods actually sold. Carriage outwards. This is the cost of transportation charged on goods sold to the customers. It is a selling expense and is debited to profit or loss account. Gross profit. This is the excess of sales over the cost of goods sold. We will now look at an illustrative question. illustration. The following information is available for the year ended. 31st of March 2018. Draw up the trading account section of the income statement of Blackwood Enterprises. Purchases 20,000 naira. Sales 40,000 naira. Carriage inwards 3,000 naira. Opening stock 10,000 naira. Closing stock 5,000 naira. Wages 2,000 naira. Return inwards. 1,500 Naira. Return outwards, 1,200 Naira. You are required to prepare the trading accounts. Solution. The first thing you are to write here will be the name of the organization. Blackwood Enterprises. Trading account for the year ended 31st of March, 2018. On the left hand side, we have our opening stock, 10,000. We are going to add purchases to it, 20,000. We are going to add carriage inwards to it, 3,000. We are going to add our wages to it, 2,000. And we'll get a subtotal, 35,000 Naira. We will less return outwards of 1,200 Naira. And we'll get a subtotal, 33,800. And this is our cost of goods available for sales. From the cost of goods available for sales, we will less our closing stock, 5,000 Naira. And we are going to get 28,800, which represents our cost of goods sold. We now move on to the right hand side. We have our sales, 40,000 Naira. We will less return inwards, 1,500 Naira. And we'll get 38,500, which represents our net sales. We we'll now look at the difference between our net sales and cost of goods sold. And the difference, in this case, net sales is greater than cost of goods sold. And the difference is our gross profit of 9,700. The 9,700 is added 
to cost of goods sold to give us a final total of 38,500, which must equal to the total on the right hand side of 38,500. At this point, let us go for a short break, and when we come back, we will continue. Dear students, you are welcome back to the last segment of our lesson on trading account. Recall that in the first segment, we learned the meaning of trading account, its formats. And in the second segment, we learned the basic terminologies associated with trading account. And we also worked out an illustrative question. In this last segment, I'm going to give you a detailed assignment and will expect you to work it out independently. Assignment. The following information has been extracted from the books of ABC Nigeria Limited. Sales, 126,000. Opening stock, 20,000. Purchases, 25,000. Closing stock, 5,000. Return outwards, 4,000. Carriage inwards, 4,200. Wages, 3,000. Return inwards, 3,500. Goods withdrawn, 8,000. 200 marketing expenses 3800 rents and rates 4100 carriage outwards 2500 you are required to prepare the trading account for the year ended 31st December, year 2017. Dear students, kindly visit the Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education for a soft copy, submission of assignment, and for your questions in gray areas. For added value on this topic, please visit the following websites www.investopedia.com, www.academia.edu, www.accountingexplanation.com. Thank you.